G'day. In today's video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to upgrade your NVMe and RAM in your HP Power or HP Pavilion Power 15 CB 2 TX. So first of all, we need to take the screws, the Phillips screws, out of here. One, two, three, four, five. Then these feet lift up, and there's two more hidden in there. The two that are hidden in here are slightly different. They are thicker screws compared to the ones you can see. From there, we should be able to pry it open and get into here. Once we're into here, what we want to remove is the battery while we do this, just so you don't accidentally short out something, especially if you've never worked on one of these before. So four screws along here. They come out, battery pulls towards me and out. And looking in here, we have the RAM over here. So if I zoom you guys in. Right now, I added this one, the crucial 8 gig stick of a DDR4 2666. Originally, it did only come with just this single stick over here, which if I pull these tabs out, it flicks up and I can grab it. Do take note of the notch here. So this one was running a single 8 gig stick at 2400 megahertz. And if we put these both in, we should run in dual channel. Push there, slide down, put it in at about a 45, 35 degree angle, and pull it forward, should click in a position. That's it with the RAM, that is now installed. I don't have to do anything extra with that. Going over to here, I've got the NVMe, which is this here is the SSD. This one Phillips head screw comes out. It lifts up and I can just wiggle it out from there. Originally it didn't come with this one. Originally it came with this Samsung model over here, which is a Samsung PM961 NVMe. 128 gig, getting upgraded to a Western Digital SN520 512 gig. So, a bit more storage. So I will need to do either clone windows or... So that's the NVMe there. I do have a thermal pad to chuck on it. It's not from this particular model, but I'll put it on there nonetheless, just for lulz. And going over here, we have the 2.5 inch drive, which if I pull it up towards me and back, and fold it over, we are a two terabyte Seagate. Also from 2017. Uh, push these back in here, fold it over. They do kind of dig down at the front. Under here, and then push it down. And that is held in there now. Next up, the battery. Goes into these tabs up here. Push down, push down again. And find your screwdriver. I've misplaced mine. And we'll put these four screws back in. One, two, three, and four. Next up, put the back cover back on. to make clicky, crunchy sounds as you work your way around it. There. And put in the two larger screws first, which go under here. Actually, one other tip, probably while we've got it open, best time to do it is just double check the tension on your hinge screws. So they're very prone to fail failure. There's my correct screwdriver. Slightly loose, slightly loose, slightly loose. There we go, that's better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I have to put this back on again.
go. Large screws back in. Feet back on. Same with the other side. And from there, all the other screws are identical. So I hope this helps with your upgrade on your HP Pavilion Power. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye.